Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to this Friday Review. Great to have you on the show here with me today. Excited that we could be going through our end of the week recap together. I've got one of my favorite books. Uh, I don't believe I ever shared it with you before. So today I felt like an appropriate day that I can share that with you. Uh, It's a super short book. I don't even think I've shared it with our IHPs before. Just about 100 pages long. And so I can't wait to share this with you here today. Uh, So many great updates. I've got some nice, really nice research for you that I think it's important, especially if you have young children that have suffered or are suffering from uh, antibiotic-based allergies or asthma, uh, or you're an adult from formerly taking those when you were a child. I'll talk more about that. And um, I'm going to talk specifically, too, about a nutritional supplement that has been trying to be banned by the FDA over the past year. So, Great show here today. Uh, I can't wait to get into it. Like I said, uh, the first thing I want to share with you, and and I'm not ready to kind of go too deep on it here this week, but this past week, and and, um, you know, I started recording some of the shows for next week too. Been dealing with a little bit of a family health issue. Everybody's good, uh, so I don't want anybody to worry about that. Uh, But overall, a little health issue that uh, the family has been dealing with. And again, like I said, everyone is good, but been a challenging, been a challenging week or two. And the reason why I share that with you is that I always like to be open with you. I always like to be honest with you. And um, I want you to know that everyone, no matter who you are, goes through challenges in life. And that those challenges, that if we allow them to enable us to become that much stronger, that much more resilient, but they also hopefully open us up to maybe just a little bit more wisdom, maybe even a little bit more empathy. And so I I look forward to sharing more about that in the future. But if I've looked a little bit more drawn over the past week or so, and maybe even next week's shows as well as I record them. Uh, I want you to know that all is good, that I am uh, perfectly healthy, but over this past uh, couple weeks, there have been some challenges. And uh, as I always say, uh, we will make it through those as well. There's no doubt about it. So the good news is that everything is good life is good. I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. I hope you're doing well. We'll be talking more about that. Uh, Much more to come. I have a feeling there may be a rant or two uh, that will be reserved for the next week or two, but I'm going to allow my body to get back to 100% full strength. And then I'm going to share that with you. And um, I, I hope that it's not the case, but I have a feeling that I will be uh, coming back with a vengeance uh, the pizza will be coming back in full force and, uh, and we will have a lot to talk about. So stay tuned. All right. On a fun note on a, and again, not, not that any of this is not positive, uh, because it is, but we have our over at equal life right now, really amazing fun week going on. This is our equal life anniversary, believe it or not. Equal Life just transformed from Equilibrium Nutrition to Equal.life, right? That is our URL, uh, just a year ago. So we went through this amazing transformation as a company to say, this is where we started out. We started out, believe it or not, on my own personal website, stephencrabal.com, back in 2016. And it was just the, back then, the Dr. Ball Detox. And then we said, okay, well, people like that, we need them to be able to maintain, we're going to bring on the daily nutritional support. And then people said, okay, well, what do I do about gut-based issues? And what do I do about lab testing? And we have this, we have this enormous practice in Boston, Massachusetts. So very slowly over the next year to two years, we started to bring all of our protocols, 
all of our labs online. And by 2018, we had hired a full team and really Equal Life became known then as one of the largest global functional medicine practices in the world. And to this day, I believe the largest functional medicine practice in the world, which we're super excited about. And when that happens, uh, well, last year in 2020, we then decided to uh, become what we felt our potential is, and that is an overall health, wellness, lifestyle-based company. And we went from Equilibrium Nutrition to Equi.life. And uh, we've got a lot of exciting things, everything from new labels coming next year to uh, new product pages, all sorts of great things coming. But this week is to celebrate that one-year anniversary, and we are giving away our Equal Life t-shirts, pretty fun, uh, to all qualifying orders over $129 over at Equa.life right now. So head on over to, you can just go to stephencabral.com forward slash Equal Life, and it will take you right to the Equal Life main website. Uh, you can enjoy getting your free t-shirt, men's and women's t-shirts, and, uh, and you can, of course, check out all the different labs we have there, all the different protocols, and everything from a true clinical-based practice now being open source to everyone all over the world. So it's it's been a uh, it's been a fun ride. It really has. And the amazing thing is that we have such an incredible team dedicated every single day to making this happen. So my job is to teach. That's always been my job is to teach, to educate, to carry on this mission. Uh, and many of you are doing the same. And then we have an amazing team to be able to follow through uh, with all the tens of thousands of people out there. So we thank you. We appreciate you. And we hope that you celebrate with us this week over at Equal Life. All right, next up, let's go over the podcast recap of the week. All right, so on Monday's show, that was episode 2075, not losing track of where you are headed in life. Really important show. Hopefully that inspired you to basically maybe recommit to certain goals that you had, get started on others. Episode 2076 was the seven foods that lower testosterone levels. There are some people out there who want to naturally reduce testosterone, and there are others that want to make sure they can boost their testosterone levels as high as humanly possible and as naturally as possible. Those people are going to get two different things out of that show. You'll definitely want to check it out. 2077 was how to use carb cycling to lose weight. Definitely check out that episode as well. And then episode 2078, yesterday's show, was a case study on high stress and low hormones mood and metabolism. That was direct from one of our stress hormone mood metabolism tests. Definitely check out that show. I know a lot of you have been asking for more and more case studies. Check out yesterday's show and the downloadable copy of that lab at episode 2078. You know you can find all previous shows of the Cabral Concept at stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts. All right, that was our podcast recap of the week. This week, I wanted to share with you because people have been writing in, but honestly, this has been happening for a year now. The FDA has been continuing to try to ban N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C. Why is this important? Well, many people have been using N-A-C for years for mucus production in the chest and for the lungs and to also loosen mucus secretion in the sinuses. So anybody who's ever dealt with some ear, nose, and throat-based issues knows they can get a lot of benefit from NAC. I also did an entire uh, NAC recap uh, Friday podcast a couple years back. So I'm going to link up all the different benefits of NAC because there are many at stephencabral.com forward slash 2079. So if you want to hear all the benefits of NAC, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2079. But here's the issue. And they actually pulled this off in Australia with DHEA, melatonin, and I believe NAC as well, and I'm not sure. And we have to be very careful that the U.S. does not follow suit. And what they feel is that NAC is more of a drug, even though it's naturally occurring, uh, or that it's been used and patented by drugs first before it was used in nutritional supplements. Again, this is a very slippery slope, but we are because we are talking about a natural product that would be taken away from people and only allowed to be given by a pharmacist 
or a medical doctor. That means taking away your ability to get good quality nutritional supplements because of profit. That's the only reason why. That's literally the only reason. In Australia, you can still get DHEA, you can get melatonin, you can get all sorts of different products, but you've got to go through your medical doctor. You've got to go through your pharmacist, which by the way, is crazy. It's your body. These are naturally occurring substances. You should be able to access those. So I'm definitely going to keep you updated over the next few months if anything new transpires. The FDA went to ban it. There's now a countersuit against it. Hopefully, um, hopefully the good guys prevail on this and that they allow uh, N-acetylcysteine to still continue to be sold. Keep in mind, NAC is now banned from being sold on Amazon. I did a, I told you about this about six or seven months ago. Uh, it still seems to be the case. Any products that we try to get there are all banned uh, with NAC. We still use NAC in a few of our products. Uh, we have had to remove it from a couple for those ones that are more mainstream stream, but we still keep it at a high dose NEC in our sinus support. So if anybody's looking to fly under the radar and uh, still get a high dose uh, NEC product, you can still get your sinus support. Why don't, I don't have a short link on that, but why don't we make it stephencabral.com forward slash sinus, or actually let's just do stephencabral.com forward slash NEC. I think that makes sense. And we'll forward that to the sinus support. Uh, this is one of my favorite products. I've talked about this before. It's something that I use for viruses, viral-based protocols. And the reason is that it contains high-dose NAC. It contains licorice root uh, and many other cofactors uh, that are very powerful antivirals. So yes, it says sinus support, but it's because it's for the ear, nose, and throat. Again, I can't provide you with medical advice. I'm not providing a cure, a medical treatment program, but this is exactly what I use for myself, my friends, my family, in my private practice, um, as when you, you have a difficult to deal with illness or virus, uh, we certainly use that sign of support, and one of the reasons is because of that N-acetylcysteine. All right, just wanted to share that with you. Today's book review is going to be a book called Five Lessons by Neville Goddard. Many of you, if you've been studying the self-improvement space, will know Neville Goddard, but you may not know the book, The Five Lessons. I love this book. I've been reading about it. I've been reading it quite a bit along with another three or four during the last year or so of the pandemic. And it's really just helped me keep my mind in the right place because Again, I, and I talked about it, and I'll be talking about it on this Monday, uh, Mindset and Mon Motivation Monday show coming up, is that a lot of us have had to make compromises that we would have uh, really had rather not to do. Many of us have had to change living locations or changed schools for our children or changed um, exercise patterns or businesses or whatever it might be. And um, I just feel and I believe that... Uh, I believe that positivity, I believe that good will eventually prevail, but it's all about keeping your mind in the right place and persevering until that moment does happen. And this is a really beautiful book on that. This is a hundred pages long and it can get you into that right mindset. I would say that it's not um, super beginner for the overall law of vibration and, and attraction, but it's a really great book. And if you take the time to put into it, um, and again, you don't have to be a spiritual or religious person, even though there are religious undertones to it. Um, I believe that you'll walk away feeling a deeper sense of conviction in your life and one that will hopefully keep you in more of that positive mindset. But just to give you just a couple passages, I'm just going to give you a couple quotes. Know that your consciousness is the only reality. Then know what you want to be. Then assume the feeling of being that which you want to be. And remain faithful to your assumption, living and acting on your conviction. Always make it fit that pattern. You have to keep in mind this is written not quite 100 years ago, but, but fairly close. Uh, one of the reasons why I love books that are written a long time ago is because they really are pure. That uh, they say what they mean and there's no mixing of words. And essentially what it's going through is creating a new way of visualization, a new way of looking at your life, a new way of visualizing your goals and, and making them feel deeper and truer to who you are. So yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but um, yeah, it's a very beautiful book. And uh, Neville Goddard is, is certainly uh, one of the greats. Um, 
of the past 100 years or so. So I'll link that up today at stephencabral.com forward slash 2079. All right, two research studies for you here today. The first one is on smoked fish. Smoked fish, just as in processed deli meats. Remember, you, I spoke about this, well, I've spoken about it over the past couple of years. We know that processed deli meats are one of the top 10 carcinogens. That means one of the top 10 things that we know cause cancer inside of our body. So if we eat them, we want to eat them very sparingly. But it's showing that the American Institute for Cancer Research places smoked and cured fish in the same category as processed meats, which are associated with higher cancer risk. And in some scientists' views, actually can cause cancer when eaten regularly in large amounts. So if you're someone that eats smoked fish, because it's easy, it's easy to take with you on a weekly basis, I urge you to look at that habit and try to replace it with something a lot healthier. I've spoken about this before, but anything that is smoked is a carcinogen. Smoke is a natural carcinogen and it is something that we do not want to breathe into our lungs or consume with our meats or fish or maybe even nuts as well. Smoked nuts, I know a lot of people eat those as well. I would be careful of those, although I don't have the research on that to date. All right, again, not trying to be the bearer of bad news, but I think it's important that we look at this, that we take it into consideration, and that we do our best. Every once in a while, you have some smoked fish, honestly, no big deal. If it starts to become a weekly habit, that's when we need to look at it. All right, one more research study for the day. And this is uh, antibiotics may make kids sick later. When the medicines are given to children younger than age two, they are associated with allergies, obesity, and other diseases or conditions later in life. The more antibiotics given before the age of two, the more likely children are to have multiple illnesses or conditions later in childhood. Researchers speculate that this is also that also may have much longer term implications. Early antibiotic use is associated with asthma, allergic rhinitis, food allergies, celiac disease, atopic dermatitis, attention deficit hyper hyperactivity disorder, and other conditions. The association does not prove cause and effect, but could be used by parents and pediatricians when considering how to handle early childhood diseases. This was based on the data of almost 15,000 children, and it was done at uh, Mayo Clinic. Really important. You know, the Mayo Clinic is, is a well-reputed uh, organization, but you have, we have to understand is that when you disrupt a child's microbiome, which is really what we're talking about with antibiotics, we disrupt the immune system. So this is not coming as a shock to many of us in the natural health-based field and integrative health field, and that is because when, again, you disturb the good and bad bacteria of the gut microbiome, you disturb 70 to 80% of the immune system, right, where the immune system lies. So... As someone that dealt with allergies and asthma and those types of issues when I was a child, I certainly had my fair share of antibiotics early in life, and that's because that's, of course, what most pediatricians give a parent that's worried about their child. When most illnesses that a child has can be taken care of with good rest, fluids, natural uh, vitamins, minerals, and herbs, and don't need to be used with antibiotics. Antibiotics really need to be looked at as a last uh, course reserve, a life-saving course treatment, and they should only be used at those times. Because if not, we're seeing the implications now later in life. Now, the good news is this, is that much of this can be repaired through assessing a child or an adult's gut function. So if you are now an adult with allergies and asthma and any of these things, or a child, I can't recommend enough uh, running the candida metabolic and vitamins test uh, or the bacteria and parasite stool test, or ideally both. You can find those at stephencabral.com forward slash labs, and you'll be able to actually assess candida overgrowth, H. pylori, bacterial overgrowth, and parasites as well that can all be caused by a disrupted gut microbiome. Remember, there's always an answer why there really is, and uh, it's never too late. I found my answers a little later in life, um, but that's okay. I got healthy, and I know that you can as well. So let's just keep sharing this information, again, with as many people as that it can serve. And uh, we know that um, even if it only helps one person out there, well, that's one more person that we're able to help. So thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend. 
I'll talk with you soon on our Cobra Hall House Calls coming up this weekend. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. And this week is a big celebration for us over at Equal Life. It is Equal Life's first anniversary, switching from Equilibrium Nutrition to Equal Life. And we couldn't be more excited to be able to share this celebration with you. All this week, we're actually giving away our Equal Life based t shirts, free men and women's t shirts on all qualifying orders over $129. This is an amazing $19.95 to $29.95 value, and yet yours completely free while supplies last. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash Equalife for all of the details. And again, thank you so much for being a part of the Equalife community.